Uh, first of all, on behalf of Ritter University, allow me to say what a great honor and pleasure it is for me to be a participant of this AIUP session in the presence of the, such a distinguished university uh, uh, president, staff, and audience here in Vienna, as well as from uh, overseas. Uh, listening to Professor Davis' lecture, I think I might be the president whom my students want to leave. <laughs> but my theme today is uh, the moral education in Japanese universities. Perhaps you may wonder why I should choose to talk about what might appear to be a minor pedagogical matter relevant, to, relevant only to a small island country in the Far East. But uh, I'm uh, convinced, though, that uh, my theme is connected to fundamental matters of global uh, concern today, especially how, in terms of educational outcomes, our universities are to develop students of good character and nurture their moral integrity. Our university uh, educational trend in the, uh, the world today uh, leave us no choice but to confront these questions. As a matter of urgency, Professor Francesco Barbara of the University of Barcelona, for example, has cited studies of university education that criticize the almost exclusive priority that have been given to technical and or professional education and the consequences of this, the secondary tangential role given to character education. Character education is, of course, uh, intimately related to moral education concerning itself as it is with a uh, psychological concept of moral self and moral identity. And here we should note that a new trend has already emerged in this area in the US and elsewhere. According to debating moral education, after being marginalized for decades in secularized 20th century academy, more than 100 ethics centers and programs are now flourishing on campuses across America. Evidence of the Renaissance in moral education in the US tertiary sector. In Great Britain, too, uh, character education is being treated as a form of moral education that focuses on the development of virtues. To take just one example, Final report of the Lyot Committees and Big Ten Panel published in the wake of August 2011, UK Lyot's recommended that new school initiatives be taken to help children build character and both the media and the general public responded very warmly to this. The Jubilee Center for Character and the Virtues at the University of Birmingham with which our Center for Moral Science Education has concluded uh, an MOU, is making an admirable effort to reconstruct Aristotelian character education through academic research. In this global age, therefore, we can no longer allow moral education in Japan to be lagged behind, but must seize the future by participating in collaborative academic and educational in initiatives worldwide. Uh, we, have, uh, we Japanese have another purely domestic reason for rethinking moral education in the uh, tertiary sector at present time. The introduction of new educational initiative at elementary school and junior high school levels has brought us to the threshold of sig significant changes in the field of moral education. In, in 2016, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports and Science and Technology decided that moral education would become a special subject in the next national curriculum. And now moral education classes will start in elementary schools and in junior high schools. Despite strong official backing though, the new system has not gone unchallenged by those responsible for teaching the subject. This is partly because moral education has not been clearly defined school subject, but merely a titular program since World War II. So not a few teachers in charge of this hour feel uneasy about having to cope with this new subject 
without being able to equip themselves with adequate academic knowledge and appropriate pedagogical skills. One serious difficulty is here is Japanese universities providing teacher training have neither academic department nor faculty solely devoted to scholarship or instruction in the area of moral studies. As a result, they have not to date produced researchers and educators specializing in the subject in sufficient numbers. This paucity of provision for moral education in teacher training program in Japanese universities has inevitably done considerable harm to the prospect of advancing the cause of moral education in elementary and junior high schools. So Latek University Graduate School is currently planning to establish a master course in moral education in 2018 for both existing and aspiring teachers who wish to deepen their academic and scientific understanding of moral education. It will be the first only graduate course on moral education in Japan. The narrow, this narrow, if important, problem teacher training should spur us to rethink the place of moral education in Japan's entire tertiary sector. The present situation whereby moral education is provided solely in the country's elementary and junior high schools and instruction ends abruptly at the age of 15 leaves much to be desired if we wish to pursue the educational ideas of the sustainable and lifelong moral development and character building for our children. Uh, given all of this, how then we can, how, how can we ensure the effectiveness of character education from the viewpoint of student moral development in tertiary sector? Sandra Graham and Mary Dees provided one possible answer by highlighting the conclusions of the National Survey of Student Engagement in the United States, notably confirming that school mission and curriculum were important to the student reported character gains, that student involvement in community and the volunteerism effort enhanced gains, and that intentional assessment of character development related assignments was critical to the student's self-articulation and ability in character-related issues. Later, is res responding proactively to such concerns. Uh, this is reflected both in our curriculum, which is the, based on our fundamental mission as a university, and in our strong encouragement of student involvement in community and the volunteer activities. The first, our mission is based on the scholarship a uh, philosophy of our university founder, Chikuro Hiroike, uh, who published his Treatise of Moral Science in 1928. His spirit and writing, which continue to play a central role in our university's life, were imbued with a firm belief that the education should provide the student not only with academic knowledge, but also with a high level of integrity and a moral character. At the core way of the implement this approach in our curriculum is moral science, uh, which is also the main subject for general education and component in our undergraduate program. It was compulsory for all students in their freshman year until 2015, and now is so in the second year. This year-long 30 weeks moral science course consists of 190 minutes class per week and includes a student assessment in the form of questionnaire that appears in the PowerPoint on the slide. This questionnaire has two parts. One, as you look at it, an overall assessment of the course. Second, the student comprehension of the course content and results are revealing. In one assessment period, for example, a total of 456 students who took this course responded to this questionnaire, whose item was graded on the five-level scale. Five is the highest and one the lowest. Those average scores may be said to have been relatively high. We realize that the outcomes of the university's moral education program could neither be measured by this questionnaire alone, 
nor were they reflection of a single moral science course. So to ensure uh, the character development rooted in the range of abilities that are contextualized throughout the entire undergraduate curriculum, uh, we reformed our curriculum in 2016, establishing a four-year curriculum map for moral education with basic seminars and President Society and Moral Science for freshmen, Moral Science for second year student, and elective advanced courses for third and fourth year student, incorporating other morality oriented class such as RATAC studies, learning about the history of the founding spirit of the university, morality and economics, moral business management, studies of moral education, so on. Secondly, we are encouraging student involvement in community and the volunteer efforts and studying the result of this. We have already done limited survey of involving 30 students who enrolled in the volunteer class in 2013 to study its efficacy. The survey was conducted in the last class after all the volunteer activities had been completed so that a student would have an opportunity to look back on what they have learned through their disparity activities. The survey reveals that such activities did have an impact on the theoretical transformation of their attitude and behavior in terms of selected virtues, and that in some cases, these are significantly high, especially in terms of the virtues of connectedness, responsibility, benevolence, and respect. To spur the development of such moral competencies, we offer our students various educational programs of the PBL type. These allow them to engage with moral issues in the real world, since we recognize the need both to promote experience-based uh, format, such as student involvement in the community and volunteer effort, and shed more light on the positive impact that these programs can have on their psychological development of our student. Uh, let me conclude my remarks today by citing some of the findings of more extensive empirical case study of the impact of moral education on the character of the student that we have been conducting in collaboration with Center for Character and Citizenship at the University of Missouri St. Louis. The study involves uh, our four LATAC schools, namely LATAC University, LATAC Junior Senior High Schools, LATAC Mizunami Junior Senior High Schools, which have offered molar education on a continuing basis since their foundation. Interviews with 2,000 alumni, although the number is very small, of these institutions, ranging the age of from their 20s up to 70s. Uh, revealed much of the interest about the ways in which the moral education they received had influenced their characters. When they put the wisdom they had learned at school as a form of knowledge into practice in the real world, especially when the moral act as moral actors, they experienced difficulties in life, virtues such as self-reflection, sincerity, love, benevolence, tolerance, gratitude, connectedness were allowed that helps them to overcome calamities in life. Wisdom that has originated purely as knowledge took practical form and allowed them to improve their characters and growth as human beings. Their sense of moral indebtedness, which then created gratitude, began to act as positive motivations uh, for moral practice and self-improvement. In continuing build on work like this, we hope to contribute to the emerging global trend of promoting moral education in the tertiary sector. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. I have one question. Yeah. Can you give a statement on or mention anything about the relationship of morality and business relationships? Yes. I think. Um, uh, there is one uh, kind of, uh, at least one kind of connection between the business sustainability and the morality, not the size of the companies. You may recall that uh, the variety of the recent accounting scandals 
U.S. as well, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, uh, 2001, the bankruptcy of Enron Corporation. Uh, the CEO is from graduate from Harvard Business High School. Harvard Business School. You know? uh, she uh, get uh, the Rose, uh, some kind of uh, prize, and it's one of the brilliant student at that time. But she, he is now in the jail. Now. And in Japan too, we have accounting scandal Toshiba. Do you know? One of the biggest electronics and industrial companies in Japan. And uh, underlying these examples of the uh, willful corporate fraud and corruption, we can detect some kind of similarities. That is a shareholder-centric attitude. They uh, think uh, shareholders are important. And uh, the obsession with short-term profit making. On the other hand, Japan has more than 3,000 enterprises that have been existed for over 200 years, which survive and prosper today, a total uh, larger than any other countries in the world, I think. Uh, for example, first, the first place in Japan, there are with 3,113 uh, long-lived companies, followed by Germany, I don't know Australia, <laughs> uh, 1,463, and then the France. And 90% of Japanese enterprises, long-lived enterprises, uh, they think of uh, the, in terms of long-range business management. Sustainability is uh, today the theme. So, so they have also the moral principles that underpin their style of business management, uh, enshrined the form of the guiding percept of the company or family motors, uh, whose emphasis is on to making business activities uh, useful for society. So I think uh, there is some kind of a connection between sustainability of the business management and, and the long longevity of the uh, uh, business. As, uh, may I say one thing, one more thing? One more okay. thing, yes. Because uh, it reminds me of the wisdom of the Gustav Mara, mm -hmm. uh, Australian uh, later romantic composer, when he said that tradition is to pass on the flame not worship the ash, okay? So the flame is, I think, to me, the morality, moral integrity. Thank you very much.